you know, best case scenario, we walk away today able to stay here for 30 more days, so. We are headed to Chiang Mai um, Immigration Office. And um, some people say we should be there at six, some people say 7.30, some people say go in the afternoon. Um, apparently people used to camp out overnight. It was the only way you could actually make it through the queue. Thank God that's no longer the issue. I know we haven't been doing, you know, really frequent vlogs lately. Our lives have been pretty occupied with um, a lot of things that are not particularly vlog worthy, I guess. And also a lot of times we are just so um, sort of brain dead with just trying to um, figure out how to do the things that are required of us in this season that we don't really have the ability to try to communicate that to, well, to each other, let alone to you. And so, um, anyway, it's not that we don't want to vlog or that we've forgotten you or um, any of that. Sorry, and we appreciate your patience. So I just wanted to show you a little piece of what one of the, one of the things that occupies our time. So this is just one piece of some things. So, today what we're doing is we're having to go get our 90 day renewal for our visa. Um, we'll actually get 30 days today and then we'll have to go back in 30 days, but it should be a, an easier process um, and hopefully a shorter process. And then that will, then it will, it will be another 60 days before we have to do this part of the process again. So. Um, I'm going to show you this pile of papers, this pile of papers, this is my pile of papers. So not only do you have to gather all the papers, fill out papers, take pictures, um, passport photos, but also pictures of yourself doing things, describing them typed out, um, copies of all kinds of parts of your life. Um, all just there are many 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 pieces to this and um, then after it's all compiled then you have to every one of these pages every single paper is um, signed so you know if you've ever bought a house or sold a house and you think Wow, and you know, people will say when you buy a house or you sell a house, get ready to sign your life away because you have to sign so many papers. I will say that this makes buying or selling a house look like you really don't do any signing. <laughs> Would you say? Right. Yeah. It's, <laughs> it's a massive amount of signing. So every one of these pages, a lot of them on both sides are signed, but at least at least every page on one side is signed, not just signed, but signed, and then your uh, and then printed your you print your name under your signature as well. So that's just one step of the pieces of this process. So you can see how that's um, not that can really occupy a lot of your. Uh, a lot of the space in your mind, a lot of time. You know, in the States, maybe you have your list of how many other things to get done for the day, but really here, if you get one thing done in the day, I mean, if you go and you get your passport photos done, that was a good day. You know, if you can go and you can get this, the one, one piece of it, one piece of anything, whatever, done, then that's, you just have to consider that a good day because things just, it's just different. Things take a long time. You can see the lines behind me for some of the different, you line up waiting for a queue number when they open in about an hour. And so you get in line according to what type of visa you're needing or what you're actually needing to get done here. So you can see over here, there's some other types of lines. Um, and there's James, see James waving, there he is. He's standing in for a family right now so that we don't all have to sit in the line. So good of him. Looks 
excited to have this done. We're glad that it's not super crazy here. It looks to us like it should be done pretty quickly once the door is actually open, so hopeful. So it's not 8.30 yet, but they came out and gave us our cues ahead of time, so um, we're numbers 104, 105. I don't know what it starts at, but I think maybe it starts at 100. Like, I think we're pretty early on the line, so that should be good. Really hopeful that this will be a quick thing because I've kind of been going to offices doing this type of thing for a few days and everybody's ready just to have some downtime. So, um, but yeah, at least it's not too hot right now. It's feeling pretty good. So again, here's the line for one type of, for a couple different types of visas or needs re-entry permits, tourists, visas, uh, a few different things. And then there's still people piling in. There's, um, this is actually a really, really, really slow day. Um, coming in the middle of the week. This is a Wednesday, so that's a good choice. Yay, for that. So we're ready to just have some downtime. Ready to be finished with all this Office stuff. Me too. Update. Mm -hmm. Update. I know my hair's all frozen out just so human. We're outside a straight this morning, but it's getting crazy. Very good. <laughs> James is a haircut. Yes. And um, it is 9:20. We've been still here. on the first person. We've been here since seven. A little after seven. A little after Ten seven. After seven. We've been here two hours. They're still on the first person. But, <laughs> Brian, Brian. We're 104, 105 in line. Yeah. So. However, they've they've actually only been open for 45 minutes. True. So for 45 minutes, they've been on the same person. Yes. We are number four and five. Yeah. And they're on number one. But if everybody takes an hour, then I'm not sure if we'll get in before lunch. But. I thought we were doing well. <laughs> yeah. Oh, Lordy. Oh, well. Waiting. A lot of waiting. So, update. We've now been here five hours. And now we're waiting still. We've been into one office. Um, then we had to go upstairs to a different office because there was something else we had to do. And we had to sign a bunch more papers, come back downstairs, and we finished in that office. They still have our passports, we paid them money, and now they told us to come back out here and wait till another office calls our name. We have no idea what remains, we have no idea what we're supposed to be doing, really. Um, all we know is we've been outside, and it's hot. And we've been here for five hours, and we've spent 300 bucks. And you know, best case scenario, we walk away today able to stay here for 30 more days. So, struggling. I have a good attitude right now. A little bit. Poor James has like a migraine, so it's not fun for him either. And it's really hot. I've needed to go to the bathroom for hours, but the bathroom is very far from here, and I'm just always afraid I'm going to go to the bathroom, and then they're going to call my name. I'm going to miss it, and then it's not good. It's 12 o'clock right now, and their signs say they go to lunch at 12 o'clock, so I'm not sure. Should we go to lunch then, or should we... Right, do we need to wait here for this hour? Do we... We're really confused by all of it, so... I don't know. Maybe I can talk to this guy. Rainy season. What are you saying, Jude? I'm talking to Wyatt. Oh, okay. <laughs> so there's our rainy season look. And we are finished with our day. At least it's, it's two o'clock. The whole immigration process and then we got lunch and then now we're headed home. And it's another thing about being here. It's just like things that normally you could do in your home nation and um, you know you're still good to go you do it here and it's just I don't know why why is it so much more tiring I mean I'm guessing it's probably not so tiring 
for the ties. It's just that it's us and everything, because everything's so foreign, and our, we're having to work so hard. Our bodies, our brains, our everything doesn't understand and is trying to, it's working, are working like overtime all the time to try to understand everything that's going on. So, day like today, yeah, we're just totally, totally spent, exhausted, like, <laughs> we're making it home and, you know, there's a lot of stuff that we need to do still, and so we're going to work on work reports for the next two days and it'd be great to get some of that together, it'd be great to get a blog out to you guys right now, but to be honest, I don't know if I, right now I don't have the energy to do deadly, I'm doing well just to make it home and to actually update you guys on this. To remember to do that because I feel just spent so it's really crazy and it's really hard to you know we spent a lot of time on short-term trips overseas before and so I thought that we had some understanding of things a lot more understanding than we actually do and so it's been really enlightening I wish there was a way to share with you in a way that you would understand but I don't really know how to with words without experiencing it just a different experience. That is all there is to it anyway. Anyway, I'm very happy that we're going home. Hello everybody. Today we are working on our work reports to turn in for our work permits. Um, we have to do this every four months. We don't, it's the first time for us to do it. We don't really know what we're doing so it's a major learning curve, learning experience. Um, James is working on some stuff here right now and he is having a lot of difficulty with some formatting issues and that's not fun and I am gonna actually work on putting out a vlog I know it's been a really long time and I'm sorry about that but life <laughs> life unexpected happens here sometimes and it's always an adventure sometimes it's not vlog worthy or sometimes we just don't have the wherewithal so that would that work wherewithal to get it done um yeah so last night james and i were chilling out down here and the boys came down super pumped like we have a surprise for you we have a surprise Whoa, we're so excited so we go up to see the surprise and they have cleaned jude's room which is awesome <laughs> thank you yay for that surprise we thought that was it but then they also had this jar full of things for us and it was so cute so it had all these things on the top, like extra hug, extra hug, extra hug coupons, you know, and hearts, an extra hit, ha yeah, extra kiss. <clears throat> so cute. Then I had this to mom and dad. I love you. Just so, I mean, you know, just the fact that they would just have that idea to want to do something sweet like that for us, just surprise us. It's so awesome. I just feel really blessed. Anyway. Off I go to the loggy doggy. 